Hello everyone and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host Rob Bentley and thanks for tuning in. On today's show we'll talk Bulldog hockey and we'll check in with the men's and women's basketball teams here as they continue action in 2013. First up, head coach Bob Daniels with the Bulldog hockey team and coach, welcome to the show. Hey, good to be here Rob. Coach, uh, this past weekend uh, the Bulldogs taking on Michigan State for the, the final time in CCHA regular season play and congratulations on two wins, a big sweep uh, over the Spartans this past weekend. It really was a big sweep, Rob. We're really uh, delighted with the outcome of the weekend. And, you know, as I look back now, uh, for, since Christmas break, we played, uh, we played on uh, the 28th and 29th of, uh, of December, and we started right after Christmas. And uh, since then, we've played seven games. I think six of them have been outstanding, like our last six games. Really happy with how the teams performed. And it's good to see us coming through now with these performances and getting wins as well. Coach, uh, you started off the weekend in East Lansing on Friday night, a 2-1 to one Bulldog victory, a, a close, hard-fought game on, on national TV. Uh, just talk about that performance as we go to the highlights on Friday night in East Lansing. Yeah, well, I, I, I thought that was, a, of the two nights, I thought that's the night we actually played our best hockey. I really thought we were on top of our game. Um, the goalie, Hildebrandt, for Michigan State, you're going to see here. I don't know if we got a lot of his saves, but, boy, he was very, very good now. Because of how well he played, that forced C.J. Mott to be really being on top of his game and obviously only giving up one goal, he was really good. But it was a hard fought. You know, you're going to see it like here on the highlights here. I mean, it's, it gets very chippy. And, you know, I think Michigan State to some extent is getting a little bit frustrated. It's certainly they didn't envision this type of year and, and uh, they're having a hard time scoring goals. And, you know, you can see Coach Nassis probably told him, hey, we really want you to go to the net hard. And, but because of that, it leads to a lot of different scrums after the whistle, a lot of pushing and shoving. So it was hard fought, but uh, nevertheless, I, I thought that was one of our, our best played games. And this, it came off of right before break, we played at Michigan State and we got beat. And I tell you, that had to be one of the, probably our poorest performance all year long. Really disappointed in it. So for us to go back into that rink and play as well as we did this night, I'm very happy with the, uh, the progression of this team. You got the first goal uh, by Corey Kane. Michigan State came right back and, and was able to score to tie it back up. But then in the in the third, finally, uh, a big goal by Travis Ouellette early in the third. It was. You know, and I, we had really been around their net quite a bit. And um, what, you know, I, what I was worried about going to the third, because I think the shots really were two to one in, in our favor. And we were getting some great chances. We just weren't scoring. And I was worried we were going to start gambling and trying so hard to get that next goal that we were going to leave ourselves vulnerable to a counterattack by Michigan State. and I, I didn't want that. I didn't want us to try to, to, to bite off one we could chew. And I, I like the patience of our team. And we, I think this is the game winner right here that's coming up, and, and it is. And it was just a great play by Garrett Thompson. But I, I did want us to uh, leave our defensive posture and, and, and go out to try to score and then, and then let our, our guard down. Even after you got the goal, uh, some big saves uh, towards the end by C.J. Mott at the end of the game. Yeah, he did. You know, as well as we played, though, I, I couldn't believe it with about 12 seconds to go. And, you know, I, I saw this thing develop. We chipped it in the neutral zone. There's only 12 seconds. It should be over. And Kyle Bonus, God bless him. But, I, you know, it's hard for him to know. But he, he came off the ice for a change. I'm thinking, you know, I didn't say anything to him. I'm like, God, 12 seconds, stay out there. And, and, and uh, Huff jumped on the ice for him. And I don't know that Huff ever quite got himself situated. Next thing you know, they came in. And, and CJ really was, they, with about two seconds to go in the game, they had one great chance right out in front. Coach, you come back on, on Saturday night. Uh, you, you head to Big Rapids for the final meeting against the Spartans in a, a great environment, sold-out crowd in Big Rapids. And uh, just talk about your performance on Saturday night. Sure. Well, you know, it is a big deal for us. It's a big deal uh, playing Michigan State. Uh, we are very proud members of the CCHA as they are. And, uh, you know, the first night, that I, you know, the win there, I, it's kind of for the team of the program, national TV. We did go into the second night talking to the guys. This one's for our fans. You know, this is one we kind of owe it. We look back to the fact that over uh, Christmas break, we had three games at home. I think two of them were sellouts. One was a near sellout, and that's without students. And we just really felt like our students, uh, the community have supported us so well over the year uh, that we really felt like we, we, they deserved a treat. And knowing it was the last time in a regular season game we were going to have Michigan State at home, it became very important to us to provide that entertainment to the fans. Big goal by Eric Alexander there to give you the lead. And then 
here the first goal uh, in his career by Dom Panetta. Well, there goes a good offensive defense, or offensive forward, you know. All of a sudden now, he's going to be trying to score all the time. But, no, he, he played a great game. He actually could have had two or three goals this night. And lately, he's been playing better and better, and he's been getting his opportunities to score. And it was only a matter of time before he did. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe that's the start of something for him. He's not in those roles necessarily. He's more of a, a checking line player, an energy player that, uh, gets the crowd into it through his physical play, and he's a penalty killer. And so he's not really put in the scoring roles, but more and more I'm watching him. He's getting his chances, so I, I would expect uh, you know a few more goals before this year's over by, by Dom. In this game, uh, obviously you've battled some injuries at different times this year. Just talk about how your kids stepped up uh, against some of those injuries. Yeah, well, we're, we're battling them bad again now, Rob. Uh, Scott Zarnall's in, uh, in this game. He's out there right now, I think, but in this game as it, it goes on, he ends up uh, having a shoulder injury, and he's going to be out for some time now. And that was disappointing to see. Uh, we, we finally got in the back after the last shoulder injury and the knee injury a year ago. And re, you know, it was nice to have him and Travis White back, and we really solidified our, our defensive core. And you can see with both of them in the lineup how we're five and one in our last six. And you know, with him out, it just reminds me of the first half. We got to pull together now um, because there is a hole there. We've also you know, we've got Dean Martino. We've got quite a few guys out. The one bright spot, we're, we're going to be missing about four players going into this weekend, but the bright spot is we get Matt Kersinger back. And now Matt won't be the player he was uh, last year, not in the first two games or three. It's going to take him a while, but it's going to be great to have him back in the lineup. Coach, uh, just talk about this past weekend, being a Michigan State alum, and what, what it meant for you to be able to pull off that sweep uh, against the Spartans in the, in the final matchup against them, at least in the CCHA. Well, quite honestly, it, it, you know what? I, I took no pleasure from, from that angle. I really didn't. I, my, it was, it coaches, are, we're, you know, we're all the same. We're just driven by the next moment in terms of the next game, the next W. Uh, and that one, you know, we're, we're, we're chasing uh, upper division finish in the standings. I think currently we're in fourth, only two points out of first place. Uh, and for us, it's all about that, you know. And, I, you know, again, in the summer, sometimes I'll sit back and relax and think about some of that stuff. But right now, when you're in the heat of the battle, it's just, you know, it's about Notre Dame next weekend. You got Notre Dame coming up this weekend uh, in South Bend. Uh, they're tied for first place along with Western Michigan. Uh, you've got the Broncos next weekend at home. Uh, just talk about these next two weekends and how important they are. Yeah, they are. They're, it just, you know, I, I, every single weekend seems to be important from here on. And, uh, you know, I think we're down to our last eight games or ten games in conference, so there's not that much more to go in, in the league play. Um, it's bunched up. There's a lot on the line from playoff positioning to championships. I mean, it's all right there in front of us. And so these are big games, but not only are these big games this weekend, but the following week and they're big. And then hopefully we keep winning or you know, we, we get our share of wins and then that makes Northern Michigan that much bigger. So uh, this is the type of, of atmosphere we want to find our team in and our program in. And that's why a lot of the guys came to Ferris State. They want to be in these type of games. Well, Coach, looking forward to, to this week's trip to South Bend and then obviously Western Michigan coming to town on February 1st and 2nd. I am too, and thank you, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.